Need a solid exercise for hip stability or to increase range in those suffering from hip arthritis? Find out what I recommend next. But first, please spend a few seconds to like our video, subscribe to our channel. If you found this video helpful, please hit the thanks button and donate. Also, our team has worked hard to bring neck and back pain and many other online exercise programs using our paradigm to body hack your pain. You can find the link to our Revive at Home programs below in the descriptions box. We appreciate your support. So let's get to the exercise. So similar to our hip awareness one with that Feldenkrais, it's similar, we're just building off of that exercise. And so this is very similarly done. So the first position initially is this one, just straight on, but then we move to the second, which is up here. Third is a cross, but you gotta keep your back flat. If you can't, then just hang out at this one. And the last one is slightly outside and you're doing that. So let's get right to it. And you're gonna have this nice, if you can go, if you can see how much more range I got than that, right? I'm gonna have to cheat to get that. So I need to build that awareness slowly. So I'm just gonna go one centimeter and one centimeter, one centimeter and one centimeter. And this one's easy. When I talk about skipping, a lot of people do skip in these tougher ranges. It's a lot easier when it's just straight on. So, so we want to go one set until it starts feeling like you got a good control of it. Now I'm slowly feeling like the hips are getting a little bit more open. And like I said, just being in tune with your body is going to be really essential. So you're going to go like that. And then you can see I'm going a little bit faster. I should do it slower. So I'm going to Make sure I slow it down and, and I'm skipping as I go on. These little muscles right here are, are working hard to try to keep things, keep gravity from pushing it downwards and, and also trying to just maintain that semblance of control. So as that gets better, my range improves and you can kind of see it getting more and more. So at what point do you start transitioning to the next one? Well, you keep doing it as long as your back can remain flat. I would say that's like the main goal. You don't want it to come off the bed. So what we're going to do is then we're going to transition this one. This is a lot tougher on most people. And you can see I have very limited range. I can go out easily, but uh, not so much in. There's going to be little muscles, my adductors, my internal rotators here. They've got to help out. So I'm just going to do this for a little bit as I talk you guys through this. And what it is, is you're really just improving a lot of that stability inside that hip for your lower back. Hips can take up that stress for your lower back and that's the goal. You want less stress. So, and if it's harder, you can kind of bring it down here, but ideally it's about where your knee, your opposite knee is. So just kind of pressure on, pressure off or that little metronome, tick, tock, tick. So what we're doing is basically lubricating this ball and socket, like nice and easy is the goal. So the next thing is then the last phase is kind of like out here. It's angled out a little bit. A lot of people can do this. So this is kind of getting your like external rotators. The other ones were your internal rotators, but you can see I got that one pretty much nailed down. I want that nice and easy range. Pretty good. And then, like I said, if you can do three inches inside, you should be able to do three inches outside, vice versa. You wanna get yourself pretty good. You can see I'm taking the range up and it should be equal. I should have enough range to go that way. So if I had the middle split, then you want even one side, even the other side. Nice and slow, nice and slow rhythm. So you wanna get that all in, great. All right, that's pretty much our exercise. So why does this exercise work? Number one, when I train my staff, I always say, be aware or beware. And the reason is if you aren't aware of where your hip is in space and what it is doing, how are you gonna assume it will be there when you need it for some of the most critical movements? Number two, like in the children's fable, the tortoise and the hare, slow and steady wins the race. 
Anyone can exert quick power, but being able to control the small movements is much harder. And number three, I'm a firm believer that the hip intrinsic muscles is going to be a physical therapy cure-all for healing, pain management, and sports enhancement. Mark my words, hip intrinsics and working those deep hip stabilizers is so vital for so many different aches and pains. Let us know your thoughts on our video. Leave us some love or questions in the comments box below. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.